All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Per Aspera as part of the Indie Game Lightning Round. This is one of those games that was at the PC Gamer Showcase at E3 2019, and they had it, they just showed like uh, maybe a two minute, a two minute clip, if even, of this game, and it immediately like went to the top of my upcoming list. So we're just going to dive right in and see how it goes. It's very much the kind of game that... I think it's like uh, Surviving Mars, where effectively you're putting stuff down and trying to make a a stable survival loop. I guess, honestly, based on the old Outpost series would be the best way to describe it. Looks like I might want to turn this down a little bit. The sound effects are a little... Well, here, let's do, probably do it in menu. There we go. All right, sound effects down. I don't know how loud, loud, loud the music's going to be. So, choose a landing site, Infinity Lander, Old Fuel Refinery, Landing Site, Perseverance Rover, Terex, One Lander, Abandoned Robotic Base. Okay, here we go. So, can I pause? Yes, cool. Build an aluminum mine. So, we can upgrade, I think, but I don't think that's really what we want. Core, Worker Hub. Operating center for worker. This hub will increase the maximum amount of workers your base can support. Okay, I'll start building that. So it looks like I got a couple of couple different resources. Aluminum mine. There we go. This is neat. Okay, so we have to wait for the worker hub to be done. Chances are we should have probably built built the aluminum mine first, but eh, whatever. Okay, integrity. Aluminum mine zero. Extracts and refines aluminum ore. Power consumption five megawatts. We've got clock up there. Power stats. So we're generating 15, and we're only requiring two. We have two workers and three total buildings. This immediately is starting to make sense. Storage, load, power output. Don't want to scrap it, because that'd go bad. Lander module with a worker and a small fission engine. So can't do anything with the core, can't do anything with this. I guess let's just wait for the aluminum mine to get finished, then I'll work around. Okay. Oh, and so by building the aluminum mine, we now have access to some other stuff. So we can create uh, heat resistant glass or resistant glass from silicon. But we should probably start with the silicon mine. It's I like seeing the the branches extend out when you put something down, and I like the the topographical map that we've got going on here. That's kind of a neat system. Infinity Lander carried the first two astronauts to set foot on the Red Planet. They collected surface samples before returning to their orbital station, where a third member of the crew was monitoring the mission. I was, as a kid, I didn't really care to go to space, but I always felt bad for the one guy that didn't get to get out of the ship. You know, the guy that was still flying around? I think you gotta imagine that kind of sucked a little bit. Being within spitting distance of the moon and not being able to land on it. Uh, let's see. Okay. Where are... Our... Okay, so... We're probably fine. I'm gonna make a glass kiln. Over here. Because I figure this way... Oh, input-output. So this does have a limited amount. Of ore. Okay, it doesn't look like we've got anything else going, so we'll just wait. Let's clock this up a little bit. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of resource requirements like food. So we don't have to we don't have to worry about going too fast. Traffic lens. Interesting. 
power lens. Okay, so we're actually having some power issues. That's why solar farm. Normal solar panels will automatically store energy during the day and release it during night. Okay. I'm... Probably going to try and use the, uh, the southern sector as a solar workplace. Oh, do I only have one construction drone at a time? It looks like it. Are there any enemies? Not a clue. If there are, they haven't bothered me yet. Steel factory, glass kiln, and electronics factory. We can also do carbon and iron now. And yeah, it looks like we have to expand the network out. Too far and it's just like, no, you can't do that. Makes sense. Well, one way or another, let's get the, uh, let's get the solar farm done first. Oh, I see. I'm going to turn that one off. So we needed the glass. To make the solar farm. This makes sense. Because we just started with three of the basic resources. And I might have used up all my glass. Or <laughs> Heck if I know what I'm doing. It'll make sense later. But yeah. Very heavy surviving Mars vibes crossed with Outpost, but it doesn't seem to be nearly as pushy. Like, playing surviving Mars, if you messed up, it was pretty merciless, and you could absolutely just have your entire, your entire setup collapse on you, which is kind of rough. Oh, active and priority. Oh, we only have one worker. Worker hub is purely just so the, uh... So a worker can dock there. It's for extending its range. Okay, so what else do we need? I'm going to need electronics, but I think I'm going to need steel first. But that requires iron and carbon. Iron's up there, but we're going to need... Yeah, too far, no power. I guess in that case, let's go back down. Core, no, power... Because, yeah, we've got plenty of aluminum. Let's just get another solar out here. I'll just I'll just use pylons as a connection point. Expand out from there. Because this way, now I can get the iron mine up here. No limitations. It doesn't really like the topography, but I don't think I can flatten it or anything. Okay, factories, steel factory. I'll just clonk that over there. We're definitely going to want another worker bot. But I don't think I can make any. So no upgrading. I could just shut this thing off, which would be really funny. Not really that helpful, though. Uh, let's see. So what's the other factory? Electronics factory. Okay. Worker factory available. Build additional workers... Building additional workers is crucial for the success of the mission. Every worker requires a vacant worker hub. 
from which to operate. Worker factories will create new workers constantly until all va vacant hubs are filled. That's useful. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to put the electronics factory up there. Steel factory. Ooh. There we go. I'm going to just put a solar over there. That way we can kind of come and go. Let's get, uh, oh, worker factory requires parts. So we need a part factory on top of all of this. Oh boy. If I put that there. Okay, this should work. This is a clever little game. And yeah, it really just seems to be about space optimization and expanding your setup. It doesn't seem like there's necessarily uh, an immediate enemy or a lose condition. It's just a matter of time. That it's it's more about bettering yourself than anything else. Which, honestly, I can get behind. We're going to use this big flat area as kind of a, a denser factory zone. Yeah, once this is done, we'll want to get just a bunch of workers flying around. I don't think they cost too much in power. And considering solar is infinite, yeah, worker hubs are cheap. Okay. Build a maintenance facility. You can also do polymer. Chemical plant, maintenance facility. So, does look like it requires polymers or something. Build maintenance drones, send them to repair nearby buildings. Okay, polymers requires... Oh. Okay, this requires chemicals, so we gotta figure out chemical plants. Extract chemicals from mineral deposits. Oh, here we go. Okay, how's this going? It looks like it is building it slowly, but that'll double how much we we output. Okay, plunk that over there. So we will have to worry about maintenance and some other things. So maybe the lose condition is just eventually uh, my stuff getting too damaged. Okay. Well, in that case... Or, no, we don't want a worker factory. We want a worker hub. I'm gonna put one over here. They're cheap, yeah? Yeah, they're, they're dirt cheap. We're gonna get two of them. At the very least. Hey, uh, let's see. Thank you, Mazder654, for the 23-month resub. So close to that two-year badge. Yeah. And thank you, Dave the Cow, for the 10-month resub. Happy subversary. Another month over already. Yeah. Feels like this year is 10 years long and also two... two weeks. Wild. Lack of variety. Losing that spice of life has been... Oof. Okay, so I've got the... Do I have the polymers factory? Yes. So I guess next up, maintenance facility. Now that we're making polymers. Let's put it front and center. That was really fun seeing them snake the paths out to create new, new roads. That's so cool. What's going on over here? They do crisscross. So I guess they do connect. Okay, next order of business. We definitely need another solar farm. What other... 
things do we need access to? I can find out. I'm gonna... Seeing as they don't need to connect too much, let's just use the solar farms to extend... far away. Let's see. Nah, we should probably stop stop with these three, just in case. It says year one, month nineteen. So this is actually based on the, the Martian calendar. That's a neat bit. Okay, building the maintenance facility, we're just waiting for one more iron. I'll set a high pri higher priority on it. There we go. Okay. Build an archaeological scanner. Scan surrounding areas for... Okay. Scans the surrounding areas for underground resource veins. I'm gonna put it over here. We'll just see if this gets me what I'm looking for. If I go iron mine. We don't have any other iron sitting around, do we? Doesn't look like it. So I guess that's that's what the archaeological center is. Hey, thank you, Voltoth, for the five month resub. So demo uh, demo this last night. Thought I'd try it out. Little I know is making a deal with an insomnia as five hours passed. You can get five hours out of this? Damn! That's a good demo. I like that. I, I mean, so far, I'm nothing but impressed with this as a product. It's It's got a great aesthetic. It seems very meditative. This is the kind of game that you could just kind of put on and listen to a podcast. Uh, <laughs> play... I, honestly, while well, I'm uh, just hanging out. Oh, this guy's making maintenance drones to fix. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, there's a thing you you do to end the demo. Otherwise, you can go on forever. Neat. All right. I just want to watch this thing go for a little bit. Hey. Found some chemicals. So we might have to build a bunch of these. I don't know what its range is. I haven't beaten it yet, though. Your base shut down because all your drones broke down. Uh-oh. Hey, thank you, Cryers, for the raid. How you doing? We're doing an indie game lightning round. I'm getting a lot of chemicals. Oh, we got water over there. So this is the scanner lens. Okay. So it looks like it will scan outside of the range. Yeah, I. the real question is, is the scanner has infinite range, just more of them reveals the area faster. Okay. So we can also get a colony, a solar farm, food factory, mines. Let's get a second one. There we go. Because I think all they do is require... Power. And probably maintenance. Okay, let's do the maintenance lens for a second. Oh, it's got a maximum range. So, the solar panels that I'm putting down are actually outside of... 
buildable area. Good to know. But yeah, let's let's go for a lot of these extra resources just for super scanning. Range is infinite, but it did make you scrap a bunch of buildings to build more mines. Yeah, it makes sense. Because what do we got? Chemicals, chemicals, chemicals. I don't know about the water. That seems like a thing for later. Let's see, I should probably chill for a second. And not build as much. But I might as well just hang. Uh, let's see, do we want to go maximum speed? Let's go hella fast. Take a look at the maintenance lens. Yeah, is there a way to check the condition of something? Not overwhelmingly. Okay. Okay, so it looks like they will scan... They all scan individually. Except for those singular chemical plants, it, we haven't had any poorly placed anythings. There's water, there's more water, there's more water. Chemical plant, but that's already being serviced. More water. And we gotta wait for the rest of these. Well, I guess I should probably get the silicon mine down at the very least. And the aluminum mine. Because I think some of our biggest limitations are just sheer lack of resources. Ooh. And power, actually. Check this. Yeah. This is a safe spot. I'm going to start... Uh, I'm going to start over placing certain resources in areas that I know are currently covered. Namely, power. I figure, I figure no matter what, solar farms are safe. They just build in large quantities, and they're not terribly expensive. Yeah, one aluminum, one electronics, and two glass. Which... Yeah, we seem to have, not exactly in spades, but we have enough of. What about over here? Carbon. Iron mine. No, another chemical plant. Everything else is good. Okay. So, we should probably get... A water extractor. Gosh, we got a lot of water. What we really need is food. Food takes water and chemicals to make food. Yeah, let's go kind of dense in this immediate area. Let's see. Did notice the demo's been updated since na last night. I'm guessing you're on the newest version? Uh, yeah. Okay. We're gonna look like some. This whole thing's gonna look like some kind of weird, mucked up Disney World. Let's see. 
And the main problem is we're going to need more iron mi iron mines. Speak of the dingle. What else we got? Carbon, carbon, more aluminum. Let's see. Set this one to higher priority. Because it seems like a biggest limitation is the iron mines. So getting multiple iron mines going sooner than later would be nice. Oh, hey. Oh. So these are starting to get a little bad. I think. Once this maintenance facility is done, we'll build another one in the bottom left. Go from there. Yeah, because the efficiency drops. As we go, go down. So we got a lot of chemicals. A lot of other stuff. Dang, how fast are these things scanning? Uh, yeah, actually pretty dang fast. Hell yeah. I'll probably want to get a little bit more, too. Uh, let's see. So how's this? Are you done? You are done. And we've got tons of polymer and electronics, so there's no reason for me to wait. Okay, so let's start with that one. Ooh. Actually, you know what? More so than that. I'm not sure what that dupe sound effect is, but I absolutely despise it. So honestly, I'm just going to turn off the sound effect so we don't have to listen to badoop 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 over and over and over again. Because I'd much rather just listen to the music. Alright, there we go. It really does seem like... Oh! Is the Badoop every single time we scan something? That's gotta be it. Looks like we also need some more worker hubs. So let's scale that up a little bit, because I, I think our workers are overworked. Are. Okay, extend that there. Another thing I could do... Look some of these together. A bridge... Uh, let's see. Actually, let's scrap that one. Because no matter what, we should make sure we get the chemical plant down before I put anything else, like a worker hub, down. Is that another iron mine? It is. I think it's outside of a maintenance range. Yeah. So I'll have to scale that out. Or just leave it be. Not a high priority on that one. But no, that's an archaeological scanner, solar, nothing else. Okay, so maintenance facility. Interesting. It has to be within range of a power network there. That makes sense. So yeah, power only goes out to a certain range. But I can extend stuff like uh, these solar panels to extend the network. Unless I'm mistaken. I just have to actually make sure I extend it properly. It is really neat. 
the various systems that you kind of have to obey here to keep it working. Okay. So we're still looking for more iron. Or no, that's steel. We have plenty of iron. We're just not processing it. So we we actually need another steel factory. Plunk it down there. Any other resources that we're sitting on too much of? Chemicals, yes. But for now at least, we should probably just get the steel farm going. Because I was thinking I was low on iron, but no, it's it's steel that I have the biggest issue with. Okay. Well, do I fe feel bold enough to actually start expanding? How are we doing on water? We could use some more water mines. Let's see. Each of these requires 10 power, but I can... I think I can swing that. How are we doing on carbon? Could use some more carbon mines. Okay. Think that there, so it's got some more range. I'm sure we're going to need other stuff. Actually, it looks like we're running kind of low on silicon. Let's see. I don't think we're running low on aluminum, but I might as well build that while I'm there. Okay, so we've got tons of resources. As long as I don't let my maintenance ranges get too bad. We can just keep bubbling everything out. Uh, let's see, is everything else good? Yeah, it looks like we're fine. For large colonies, I think the main issue is logistics. Getting the resources around the place is what I always struggled with. Yeah, I can... I can imagine that. I don't know how big I want to go with this one. Hopefully they add later game tech that lets you actually expand. Okay, so it wants me to build a spaceport. Execution of special projects in orbit. Well, that just sounds exciting. So, yeah, let's get that down. That's a big sucker, too. Alright. So we're practically swimming in water and chemicals. Polymers we're loaded on. Oh, you can actually see... Production versus demand. Yeah, so demand could get really high with electronics, but it currently isn't. Steel seems to be the biggest ish issue. Orbital view unlocked. Spaceport construction confirmed. Orbital view unlocked permissions updated. Colonist migration project now available. Huh. Diamond... Okay. No costs. I'm going to leave that for a bit. Because we don't actually have a colony. And I should probably get that sorted. Oh, and this will give me research points. And now the game opens up. I thought it was pretty open to begin with, but I was wrong. Imminent impact. Okay, so there are there are there are risks like that. Okay, so I have the colony it just needs colonists. Okay. 
bad. All right, so I guess they'll be here in a month. Well, I'll leave that for a bit. This is still the demo, right? Yeah, certainly doesn't feel like a, a demo, but... Okay, no maintenance, no power. Do we have any other... Easily reached, kind of. Okay. I'm just going to expand some of my solar farms all over the place. Just so I know I can branch off as necessary. Uh, let's see. Wonder, do you have any D&D &D horror stories you can tell? I honestly, not while playing this game. This requires just a little bit too much thought for me. If it was a game I was really comfortable with and had been playing for a while, but this is a lot of this is still very much a learning experience, which makes it hard to get immediately off topic. I could maybe do it for a little while. But no, I don't actually have a whole lot of D&D horror stories. My usual D&D horror story is just the fact that people bail, campaign never continues, everyone is sad. Uh, let's see. Blue icon on the bottom left is total planet coverage that you've scanned with the resource scanners. Oh, interesting. I've only scanned 1% of the planet. Damn. I'm going to take it kind of slow. How's the... Uh... Okay, so they're at halfway. And that seems like the kind of thing... Why am I... No, 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 no. Do not turn that off. Colonists are here. Congratulations. With their help, you'll be able to unlock techs and perform planet, planet scale terraforming projects. This is the end of the Prosperous Sandbox demo. Visit the Steam page. Cool. So if I hadn't called uh, the colonists in, we would have been able to keep going for a while longer. Well, one way or another, that was an incredibly good stopping point anyway. This honestly is... From my perspective, surviving Mars, but less finicky. That ah, uh, the previous demo kept going. That's fine. Uh, I think I could even put in a request for per aspera and maybe get it sooner than later because I'm pretty sure. Uh, my this is being published by Raw Fury. Yeah, I think it is. They they always publish some absolute bangers. Yep, there we go. Uh, so, one way or another, we will come back to this when the actual full version comes out, mainly just because this is super fun, it's super chill, and I can't wait to play more. And that's all that really needs to be said about this one. So, with that, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, uh, hit subscribe, because absolutely going to cover a bunch more rad new indie games every single day, and especially this game when it comes out. But for now... Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.